Iligan City. And non-government organizations say children with disabilities are among the most vulnerable members of the community and so need more protection. One way to help them is through a whistle. Jackie Pasquale explains. The piercing sound of the whistle echoed through a hall in Bacolod for the official launch of the Whistle for Protection program. International non-government organization Child Fund and local partner Child Inc. unveiled this new project to protect children with disabilities from violence, abuse and other untoward incidents. The program aims to teach children with disabilities to use the whistle to alert others of danger or distress. Child Fund Philippines National Director Catherine Manick says a child with disability is four times more likely to experience abuse and violence than a child without disability. We all know that these children exist and we all know the situation. We all know that there is violence um, against children with disabilities. We all know that they're in abusive situations. How do we get to them? But more than just training the kids to use the whistle, equally important is teach people how to respond to the sound. Your first as one of the beginning friends to prevent um, any point of abuse, right? And but this has been a proper orientation to caregivers in to caregivers, to parents or to children in the community on the purpose of this result. When they hear a whistle or when they hear a bell, we still want them to pay attention. There may be a child expressing danger and, not, and using it not as a toy, but as a message that they're in trouble. The program will also train the parents and the community what to do when they hear the sound of a whistle. Manik admits there may be false alarms, but people should not become complacent because real danger can happen anytime. Nina Almeda, principal of a school for individuals with special needs, says there are indeed many children with disabilities who are victims of abuse. She also said there is a lack of government programs to cater to this sector. If there are mandated programs at all, local government units do not implement them. For 12-year-old Jericho, he is happy there is a whistle he can cling on to, and with his mother also by his side, he feels safer. <laughs> The Whistle for Protection program initially begins in Bacolod, Iloilo, and Rojas City. The program also aims to work with LGUs to better protect children in various cities and municipalities. Children with disabilities have the same rights like any child in this country. And NGOs say we should listen to children with disabilities whose voices are often not heard in this country. Jackie Pasquale, ABS-CBN News.